everyone, it's Tara with Sweet Country Glam. Super stoked for this week's video. We're gonna be working with epoxy resin. We're gonna be working with heat iron on transfer vinyl, including making some earrings using our Cricut Joy. Lots of great things coming your way, so let's get started. Okay, everybody, I'm super ready to get going with our projects. I will let you know, I will leave links in the description below of all the products that I'm using so you can snag them. Also, I'm gonna go through step-by-step -step each tutorial of each project so that you can make these at home. So we'll go ahead and use Design Space. If you are already not a Cricut member, you can go ahead and see the link down below for premium access. That gives you access to a bunch of different SVGs and images on Cricut Design Space. Design Bundles and Font Bundles is your next best bet. And again, I will leave some awesome bundles for you to check out in the links below. All right, well, let's not hold this up any longer. Let's just jump right on in and have some fun placemats. Now I'm going to be using heat transfer iron on foil. This stuff is really finicky so you have to make sure that you let it cool completely before you start peeling back the film over the top. Just a little tidbit there for you. Now you can see here happy fall y'all. I have my width at nine, my height at seven. I found these on my bundle that I purchased from Design Bundles. It was a fall bundle and I will go ahead and leave a link in the description of the most updated bundles. Please note that a lot of these bundles do change how some of their SVGs look. I do augment a few of mine by adding maybe my own fonts and just cropping out what I don't want so that could be another tutorial I can show you how to do that so let me go ahead and hide this guy so that you can see the other one that I'm going to be placing on the happy fall y'all will be in the red and then this is going to be in the really pretty rose gold and I'm putting these on the buffalo plaid placemats that I got from Hobby Lobby again everything I'm using will be down below in the description so I created my own saying by actually removing the October I designed my own lettering and I believe I used my Bohemia font script and again I'll leave that link in the description for you okay so what you can do is if it doesn't give you the option to ungroup it and it's already been welded into one unit you can always get a shape and just go around the image and cover it up with whatever it is that you're wanting to remove and just splice it out okay that can be another tutorial I can do down the road now since this one allows you to ungroup I want I want you to click on ungroup and when you click on it it's going to have it set in layers now I don't want this piece because then I created October in my different script okay so then now you would just go over to text and you would type in your October and you would pick whatever font that you want or something that's similar and so then now you would just go up to your fonts pick whatever if you've already downloaded them you want to go to systems and then that way this will be all of the fonts that you've uploaded especially if you've downloaded a bunch from font bundles and from other sites as well all right friends let's go ahead I am going to send this through my machine I used I actually broke this into pieces if that is something that you want to do so you can use your joy so I'm trying to make this as joy user friendly as possible I went ahead and sent my October through on one and then I had to go ahead and make sure that this was at that four inches in width so that it would fit through my joy it just had to go in long ways and so I was able to cut everything perfectly that way it came out beautiful so make sure when you're using the foil you do have to mirror your image so then that way when you flip it over and iron it on it is the correct way
I just wanted to show you I had added a pumpkin on to two of my mats. I just flipped them over. I thought using the Sizer Heat Iron on Transfer Vinyl in that really poppin' orange would make a really nice statement. And all I gotta do is flip it back over and I can put whatever I want on for Thanksgiving. So they already have a few that are already spliced that you can see. You can already see there's a few already pre-done for you. I went ahead and I just found a trick or treat that I liked and like this guy right here. You go ahead and click on him and you insert him and then you're going to go ahead and pick a pumpkin. I'm just showing you real quick how you can create your own pretty much SVG using text and an image. So let's see, I wanted to find a pretty much a solid pumpkin. I like this guy because I'm going to send him to the front so that my text is on top. And then I'm going to go ahead and make him the dimension that I need him. Now the other ones were about nine across, so I'm going to keep with that, the nine and the eight. Then I'm going to bring him over and stretch him out until I like the way he is placed. There we go. And then once I'm done with that and everything looks great, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to send him to the back and then I'm going to select all and I'm going to hit this slice button right here. And then what that does is it creates the slice of the word. So when we move all of these other layers out of the way, you are left with a beautiful image that you created using two different SVGs. So right here I'm taking my ruler and I'm finding the center point of my piece so that I can go ahead and then take my scissors and what I'm going to do is at the very bottom I'm going to make a little cut so that I can line that piece that I snipped up with the middle center part of my line. Don't forget, smash that like button for me. It's much appreciated. And if you know anybody else that loves working with their Cricut machine and wants to learn more, please send them our way. We really are grateful. For all of our subscribers, thank you so much. You guys are all the best. Time, I know we love our earrings. All right, friends, so I had some really pretty, like, um, I want to say like a taupe iridescent faux leather that I had gotten um, a while back from Amazon. I will try and make sure I find a very similar link. So what we're doing today with these earrings is I'm going to put a really pretty rose gold slice of part of a sunflower. I love sunflowers. It's part of our little flower logo for SCG. So you can see right here, I have my teardrop earrings. Let me go ahead and show you the width right here. We have the one point. 0.45 by the two and a quarter. I didn't want to make these too big and I feel like two and a quarter is that perfect size for everybody, that height that's not too small but not too big. Okay, so what I had to do here is I actually got my sunflower by going to images and you can type in sunflower and I love this guy right here. He has been my favorite. So let me just give you an example of how I did that. So what I'm going to do here and let me just show you an image see right there there's my sliced image so what I did is you're just going to bring him down to the size that you like and then you're gonna place him over the earring to about where you would like however much of the flower you want to be on there now it's okay if you get some of it chopped off I wanted to go almost to where you could see the center portion of it and then what you'll do is you'll go ahead and you'll slice over it and then you just take those pieces away and now you have your piece here. And then what you can do, you can see that it's now two pieces right there. So then now, I'm gonna go ahead and remove that piece. I always make quite a few duplicates of the same earring just so that I have it. And then that way, you can always change the color and then you can see the contrast. And then you just line him up just like that. And then what you're gonna do is you'll go ahead and send through however many pairs of earrings that you would like to cut using your joy. And then when you're done, you'll go ahead and line up your sunflowers. And they can be various sizes. As you can see, I didn't make this one exactly the same scale that I had before but it's all entirely up to you uh, whichever way you like it to go one to go this way and then you can have one going that way all right let's get this sent through faux leather first then your heat iron on transfer vinyl next
to do a stencil using my maker and creating my own doormat. So super stoked to be sharing this with you. I grabbed my Hey There Pumpkin SVG. I grabbed a little bundle off of Design Bundle, so I'll go ahead and leave the link in the description. It gave me like, I think it was eight or 10 different mat ideas. And so I just took one and just kind of made it my own. So you can see it's giving me error codes because I have the joy linked right now, but you can go ahead and see right here, the pumpkin guy. He was at the 8.52 in width and about 22, almost 23. Now I had to work with these dimensions quite a bit. My poster board was at a 23 inches, I believe. So I wasn't able to make this much bigger. I think it actually came out to be a perfect size though. And I got my poster board, my long rectangular pieces. I believe it was at Michael's. But again, I will find something comparable and leave a link in the description for you. So I didn't have to worry about mirroring these images. I went ahead and sent through Hey There on one and Pumpkin on the other and it did absolutely amazing through the maker. You can use your Explorer. If you would like to go ahead and send this through on your Joy, them through, it would be a lot smaller of a mat. Possibilities are endless, friends. You can always think outside the box and that could work for you. I also placed SVG on my epoxy mug, so I'm gonna actually cut this one twice, but here are the dimensions that I used for my epoxy mug. You can see the dimensions right here. And then I found this pumpkin on images, just type in pumpkin, find the one that you like. The reason why I picked this one is because I wanted this part to be see-through so that you could see the really pretty bronze glitter shine through. All right, so I use Permanent Joy Black Smart Vinyl, and then I use just my uh, Cricut White Vinyl for the pumpkin. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and send this through. I do not need to mirror anything because it's on the Joy Smart Vinyl. I spent ten dollars it's the rectangular one and I thought that this was gonna be perfect to create my own rug with the mat that I'm doing over so just so you know if you've already have a rug that looks like this then you're great but I am gonna be doing some pillows in another tutorial with this fabric so I thought why don't I go ahead and make me a makeshift decorative rug for underneath the rug that I've already made with the SVG from Design Bundle. So I counted it out. I need this to be at the 17. So I'm not counting this guy. I'm counting the start of the square. So 17 puts me right on this guy. So I'm gonna cut right on this line where the white is at.
right friends, it's coaster time. I feel like these are not on everybody's radar and they're so much fun and they're a great stocking stuffer. So I will leave the links down below for you. Now I've been doing some research and it seems like the Cricut infusible ink ones are the best ones to use for the infusible ink transfers, but that doesn't mean you have to just stick with infusible ink. You can always use vinyl and you can get them in bulk on Amazon. I will leave an awesome link down below for you where you can get, I think it was like a 10 or 20 pack. So definitely something I'm gonna be looking into. And then you can just epoxy resin over the top of them and you won't have to worry about the vinyl peeling up. So I did this geometric coaster one. I had some leftover uh, infusible ink vinyl and some of it I had never even opened. And I will tell you friends, I was actually a little disappointed in the infusible ink because it faded tremendously and one of the packages was never open. And what was strange is that the one that was open just a little bit didn't fade nearly as much. So just a little FYI, if you buy it, you want to use it pretty much right away because you don't know how long it's been sitting on the shelf. Okay, with that said, uh, you can see all four of these. I printed all four of them. I did two in the black, but it actually was a bronzy black. It's actually really pretty. It really gave the coaster a nice rustic look and that's really what I was going for with my furniture decor. And then I used two of the blue distressed colors um, for the patterns and then I made one just kind of personalizing for our family. Okay. And then I did some layering with the infusible ink which that was the first time me dabbling in that so I wanted to show you the outcome of when you use two colors that have been faded. So I hope you enjoy it and have fun. They are already pre-sized for you so there's no guesswork in this. Super easy, super awesome. Use your joy maker for this or you can throw it in on your explorer or your maker and cut all four on the same color infusible ink sheet. But make sure if you're using words you do want to mirror the images but if you're just doing designs you don't need to mirror, just send it on through.
remember friends, life is sweet. Set some goals and have a blessed day.